That's our old house. We lived there for like six years. I sure do miss it. This one place right here, this is my, was my old bedroom. You could fit four queen-size beds in there and have room for couches. That was just the living room. I miss What's up, Keto fam? It's your favorite little Keto goofball, Diamond, back again with a new Keto day. 461 days of Keto. Kind of. Mostly. So, I'm hoping this will be a new Keto adventure that we can start today. And we'll call this... Um, perfect keto to Thanksgiving. And the reason I want to do this is because I don't want to pretend like any of us are perfect. Like we don't have struggles and like it's not difficult to go to like Thanksgiving dinner with our family and not indulge in some goodies. I'm not like all the other folks on keto. I believe there's a time and place for everything including candy. Just like last night being Halloween, if there's one night a year you're going to have candy, well, last night should have been it. If there's one or two nights a year you're going to have pie and some bread, Thanksgiving and Christmas should be it. So, I mean, there's a time and place for everything. And But if you have struggles, now, now this is a disclaimer. If you are one of those people who cannot go back to keto, you should skate right by all that right there and just leave it all alone. But, if you can maintain yourself and behave yourself, yes, look at this me. there's no reason we can't indulge on occasion when we're supposed to. There's really nothing wrong with breads and sugars and rice and potatoes if we use them sparingly. Once in a while, on occasion, like Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, I'm not going to sit here and pretend with you that I am not a normal human being, that on these days I won't be tempted and I might not falter. Because I may. It really just depends on what's there. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, it really just depends on what's there and what we're doing. But, again, there's nothing wrong with these things as long as we don't overindulge in these things. Once in a while, an occasional goodie is okay. Now, the reason I want to do this is because y'all know as of late, I have not been a good little girl. In fact, last night, I was well, not I such a good little girl. It's his fault. He's the one that to go trick or treat and see all they can. Now, normally candy doesn't bother me, but there's one type that got me. They're called Sixlets, and they were my favorite candy as a child. And when my grandson offered them to me, I don't feel bad. I don't feel guilty. Shouldn't do it. It did smack me some water weight. I wasn't in ketosis anyway, but that's really not an excuse to um to cheat. It's really not. So, hi, tell me. I think it is. Well, it's, it's really not. I mean, it's not something I had to do. It's something that I chose to do. And the the quicker you get back into ketosis, the better off you are. Because the excuse is, I'm not in ketosis anyway, could last 10 years. I mean, if I keep eating sweets, I'm never going to get back into ketosis. It's not really a good sweet, a good example. Shit. See? This is brain fog. This is, this is not being in ketosis. Brain fog. Sugar fog. It's sugar fog, y'all. I'm not going to pretend I like this lipstick. I've got three or four types. I've been wanting to try them out on video, so I'm doing it. But anyway, I hope you guys will join me and let me know your progress as the days progress till Thanksgiving. Now, many of you may not cheat, may not falter, and I don't blame you a bit. In fact, I would recommend you not. I just know that we're all humans, and that's what we do on occasion is have oopsies. So if you do, it's okay. I'm here for you regardless. I'm here for you if you quit, but I don't want you to. And I don't want me to. And I need to get my shit together. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So, will you join me in Perfect Keto till Thanksgiving? And let me know below if uh, how you're going to react to Thanksgiving. Are you going to dinner with other people? Are you going to attempt to not do it? Are you dead set against doing it? What's, what's your keto? What's it going to do? So, I'll go ahead and tell you my weight today is 207. My lowest is 204, so that means I'm holding at least three pounds of water weight from being an idiot, from getting caked accidentally 
um, by something that shouldn't have kicked me and from last night of getting into the goodies that I shouldn't have got into because I really got into them. Once you, once you do it, you do it. You know, you're, you're sitting there going, well, I already had one. So then you eat your fill of stuff you ain't got no business eating. Yeah, that was me last night. And again, I don't feel bad. I am not happy with where I'm sitting right now, but I'm not mad at it either. So I don't want to be just two of four or two of seven. I want to be 199, 189, 169, 149, 129, 119. Because That's I'm five foot tall. Because I'm five foot tall. Oh, oh, I, I forget. For, That's for, different for everybody. Right. Well, see, she's like five seven, right? I am five nine. Five nine. So five, 120 on her is way too small. But 120 on a five foot tall person is not too small. In fact, I'm still going to look a little chubby. So, <laughs> um, yeah. What's your goal, too? What's your goal weight? I'm curious to know everybody's in game. What your goal is. Now, not that you're going to quit keto when you're done. Just what is your what is your ultimate goal weight? If you have your say about it. Because mine's a long way away. Only because I keep doing dumb stuff. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I'm hoping you guys are doing smarter and better keto than I am. But I'm getting back on it. I promise y'all. It's going to be at least 21 days before I kick myself again. I feel like... Uh, did you falter last night? I'm curious about that too. Um, much love to you guys and dolls. This is Keto Day 461. And day one of Perfect Keto till Thanksgiving. Much love y'all. Hey you guys, so if you're new to keto or you don't know what it is really, there's some hard and fast simple rules. Meat, cheese, eggs, green vegetables, and healthy oils like avocado oil, olive oil, my favorite coconut oil, and real butter. So make your next meal keto and you'll be fine. And then you can learn as you go. Much love to you. Talk to you soon.